Welcome to the Quest for Details. This box was sealed up 921.97. We think, probably, from the looks of everything else. And it's full of old boggles, and we're gonna go through it. It just came out of a storage unit. We're here with my dad, and one of the things that he does, and they do lots of things, right? You guys do lots of things. But this time what they're doing is emptying out a storage unit for somebody and they discovered that it is full of treasure so that's why I brought you guys all here and one of the first things that was set in my lap was hey you like bottles and so the family weren't that worried about all of the different possessions they have a lot of stuff to deal with they just wanted the photographs and sentimental stuff so I'm sitting there probably from these dates everything kind of looks like that so if you can picture from 1997 till now and I saw some cork tops and some different things and I thought that we would go through it and check it out and one of the first things that I found in the boxes before we started in the bottles is this fountain pen fountain pen, fountain pen. so we have actually found pieces of these on the quest for details metal detecting and looked up the Parker company and read about them and stuff but not seen the complete works so this is one that i'm actually going to use so it's got like a quill tip in it basically you know like a old feather tip except for it's metal so it's not a ballpoint it's a, a piece of metal that releases the ink lets the ink run off of it and then it's got a tube that holds the ink here and a little looks like plastic tube inside and then when you depress this and let it up, it sucks ink into it and fills it up. And then that runs down with gravity like most pens do and back out the tip at a limited amount so that you get a pretty steady flow. And these were refillable and I guess my dad says that later on they came up with refill charge or uh, Cart cart cartridges that you just yeah. threw away. Yeah, plastic. Parker Pen Company, made in the USA, Parker 51, Super Chrome Incorporated, used dry writing, 14 karat gold, was one of the ones that we found. So inside the box here, so, sorry Mars, whole bunch of these, I saw like three or four of these as I first opened it up. Now these are pretty old as they have bubbles in the glass and stuff wow and here's the detail they're actually two different sizes the seam marks go almost all the way up to the top seem to start stop somewhere here in the rings but they are uh some sort of weird screw top that i have not seen maybe a very original one or something if anybody knows what these are leave them in the comments below they have different numbers on the bottom of each one and no clue myself what they are at all but that is the detail on however they screwed on not your typical screw top Whew. set those inside i will go slow and not break things the next thing that we noticed was this looks like a bottle top it's a beautiful blue and it has a sticker on there it says u.s international revenue tax paid bottle stamp series and it has a number and it has the eagle on there and that's like the top that goes in there with the little cork so neither me or my dad knew exactly what was up with that stamp if anybody knows why they had to do that or anything but beautiful blue and then we have a Listerine so it seems like maybe this person was digging bottles also or had collected them wasn't just personal Pharmac Pharmacal Pharmacal that's what it says it says Pharmacal company Pharmacal company really okay Pharmacal is that a real word well conversations occurred so we will look at these last two bottles, three bottles, four bottles together. 
in there. I'll show you the whole lot together, but guess what? We just got brought another box of bottles. So, this one we already pulled out, and it's a Sloan's Liniment, for sure. So that's cool. These are all cool. Come on, if you've ever tried to dig old bottles, look at what a score I'm getting in one go round. Chamberlain. Bottle made in America, it says on the side. Look at the shape of that. Beautiful, it has its, uh, these are really recessed, and then these are recessed with words in it. And then very small finished out cork top. The seam goes all the way to the top. And very blue color too. Oh, I promise I will be careful with these. I'm about to wrap them all back up. They gave us the paper to do so. It's like a little miniature soda bottle of some sort. It's cute in its own right for sure. And probably a perfume bottle of some sort, but what shape to it? It's got a nice raised ridge with a dimple trough on either side. Little bubbles in it, same thing here. And then the smooth label side, kind of a globby bottom. And then probably had a perfume top of some sort on there. Or was the sauce maybe? Who knows? Okay, let's go put those in a pile. Okay. You may have noticed that we are now in a different setting. Hello. And um, we are back at my house. We are on the kitchen counter. These are the bottles that we have already gone through. And we have... Make sure the bottom doesn't fall out. We have box two. So inside box number two. Box number two. What do we have next? This is just going to keep going. Dr. W.B. Caldwell's Monticello, Illinois. Another beautiful bottle. The quality of these and just, uh, they're just, you know, obviously a nice collection. Look how that fills in the back. Bam. Uh, wine bottle? Wine bottle? So, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, it looks really well balanced. And, well, don't see a seam on it, but maybe that's not how they're made. I'll put that one in the back. Oh, that's got some nice color to it. It's Dr. D. Jane's Expectorant. Philadelphia, made in the USA, printed along the bottom, half size, half size, again, clean, good condition, I see a seam going all the way up to the top, nice color on that though, for sure, just keep adding them in here, it's you know, oh, laboratory. Now it says something on the bottom. M and C Company, WL. I'm not sure. It's got a nice little bubble in it. Nice shape to it. Looks good in the collection, doesn't it? Somehow, in the shipping, we lost a bourbon bottle. So, since this is kitchen counter, I'm going to leave that in box, and that is the set. That was a nice bourbon bottle, sometimes they can be worth a lot of money, and it was, oh, Grand Rapids, Iowa. Okay, moving right along. Lucky Tiger Remedy Company, Kansas City, Missouri. Says the same thing, eczema and dandruff for scalp, lucky tiger. Come on, that's a fun bottle right there. It has a nice shape, nice shape. That's, that's super fun, super fun. Took some damage, there's a crack in the bottom of another one. Not this one, 
This one doesn't say Clorox on it. It's just a brown, brown seam most of the way up. This one, Lydia E. Pinkham's Vegetable Compound. Wow. Vegetable compound, that's how they should describe canola oil. Little chip, looks like it happened a long time ago. Um, yeah. Oh, it's got the measurements. Little medicine symbol. Classic with a little violet hue to it. And the cutes here. Got a double hand for this one is Dr. D. Jane's Tonic Vermufage. Vermufage. 242 Chess Street, Phila. That's a pretty uh, specific little medicine shop right there. Beautiful bottles. We have, we're getting, a, you know, one from every state, which might have been. The idea, Dr. S. Pitcher's Castoria. All of these have such cute little bubbles and stuff going on in them. Beautiful shape. Picking up speed here as we go. This screw top? Don't know. Maybe the best for that day's dig. That happens sometimes. Like the shape of it, it does look good as part of the overall collection too. Ooh. Oh, buck fifty. This one still has the junk shop price on there. I do agree though, it's got a really nice shape to it. Nice shape. And it could have been a buck fifty a, a while back. Or yesterday. Look in junk shops. It's another brown. This one with bubbles and flaws in it also. And the chip, not incredibly new, not incredibly old. But nice. There's a part of the hole here. Clean up that mess and we'll pass it up there. And we'll look at what we have. So, voila. That is a quite a little selection there, I would say, for one treasure hunt. Of course, that was all of his treasure hunts, but um, not enormously huge either. That's a good thing, you know, out of all the stuff that's being sorted out. This is a cool little selection of stuff to get, and I'll probably, because these don't have huge sentimental value to me, um, I can more easily pass them along to other people who... Um, you know, might be interested in them specifically. So, you never know. If somebody's a Bostonian or a, from Philly or, you know, knows the shop or, or whatever. The jars are probably going to fill with things and then, you know, carefully and then put the rings and lids that we have found and stuff on top of there. And, um, and some of these... Some of these will go in my personal collection because they're just the color and the shape. Yeah, for sure. So, okay, so this was a little short one. I'm going to wrap it up now. The dogs are whining at me to go for a walk. Go for a walk? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. We love serendipitous treasure hunting. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other if you get the chance and quest on.